know it's Kate from Ink Stamp Shared, I think. I've got this cute little box for note cards to show you how to make today. It's four by four. Well, it's, it's kind of four and a half by four and a half, really, but it holds four by four note cards. Um, so, yeah, so you can make a little stack of these little note cards and pop them inside with envelopes and then you can give them as a gift. Um, or just keep them and give them out. They always need a little note card to give to someone and I really love the lots of lavender stamp set and I thought it would be perfect for this little project. So this is the stamp set and it's got these really beautiful images of lavender and it's a two-step stamp set. Um, it's called Lots of Lavender and it's free with celebration at the moment. So I'll just crack on and show you how I've made the box. I've got a piece of very vanilla uh, cardstock. It was a, a, A4 to start with and I've cut it down to 10.5 by 5.5 inches. And I'm going to score it. So when the, with the long side at the top, I am going to take my cardstock and I'm going to score it at 10 inches, which is going to give me a half an inch on the end. Um, you can use your Simply Scored or your trimmer. So I've got my half an inch here. Now I'm going to turn it all the way around. So I've got my half an inch at this end now. And I am going to then score it at five inches. Five and a half inches and ten inches. And the reason I turned it around at the very beginning was it's so much easier than uh, to score that little half inch on the end than to have it hanging off over this, this this side and do it really accurately. So I hope that makes a bit of sense. So I've got two half inches at this side and then I've got the, these two lines in the middle. So what I'm going to do then is turn it around onto the short side and I'm going to do um, the similar thing. I'm going to, it's five and a half inches long, so I'm going to screw it at five. And then I'm going to turn the card, so you can't see my, my measurements. I'm going to turn it all the way right around again and do it at five. So that I've got a half an inch score line on both sides. Lovely, and then I'm going to move my trimmer out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so I've got the bases of my box, and I'm going to uh, burnish the score lines with a bone folder. When you have a box, you need really crisp, crisp lines. Give that a good go. All the lines. So, I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. I think we had a total of, during the celebration promotion, I think we had a total of 12 Sundays. So I thought I would bring you a project every Sunday up until the end of celebration, using the celebration products so you can get some inspiration. So this is my celebration Sunday today. Right. We're there, we're there, we're there. Right, okay, so now I need to do some cutting to make the little flaps so we can assemble our box. And I'll give you a little tip. We're just going to cut along the long side. And where you've got the squares in the middle, you've got squares, rectangle, square. I'm just going to cut up where I've, outside, just on the other side of the bump where I've scored it. And then I'm going to notch the tiniest bit out like that. That looks a bit big, but that's okay. And do the same. Do the same. So you have these, and then when you construct your box, you don't have anything overlapping or big bits peeping through, and it'll just look have a much better finish. So however you do it, you're going to do both of the middle bits. You can do both sides actually, and both ends as well. Actually, on these ends, shave a tiny bit off so that it sits nicely there too. Just a bit. There we are. Send. Go. I tell you, the weather's rubbish here. It's so wet. Right there we are. Just these ends left. Oh, 
then we're going to start gluing our box together. I'm going to do one thing before I glue the box together though. I'm going to do some stamping on it. It's a lot easier before it's constructed. So, I'll have it up this way. Decide which way up you want your image to be stamped. So I've got my Memento ink in black and I am going to stamp my lavender. It's quite a big stamp so I always take my ink pad to the to the stamp because I know I can see when I've covered all the parts of it. Makes it a bit easier for me. Okay, and then I'm going to start to stamp randomly all over. Now on my other one I stamped in Wisteria Wonder colour. On this one I'm going to do black and we'll see which one we like the best. Oh there's a piece of card or something stuck there. There we are. All sorts getting in there. up very well but let's not worry it is it is inking up fine let's make a nice little present for somebody I've got a friend who does a lot of uh, writing of notes and cards she's got a lot of pen friends too it's always nice to have something nice in the post, isn't it? Or even if you just wanted a quick thank you note, it would be perfect. So lots of lavenders, literally, <laughs> all over. Make it look like you've made your own background. Well, you have, you know what I mean? Right. This will be the bottom. It does get a bit more interesting in a minute. <laughs> Promise. Such an effective stamp though. Couple more and we're done. If you do it all over it looks like it goes down the side of the box which is what you want like that so let's move my big stamp out of the way okay so now we need to construct the box so obviously you need to make sure that this is the top because if I did it this way my lavender would be going upside down so this would be the top okay and I'm going to start gluing it together so on these little inside flaps I'm going to put a tiny little bit of glue you can use fast glues or this Tombow multi-purpose glue is perfect for boxes. I wouldn't advise using a tape runner like snail for a box because it's, it doesn't hold it quite strong, as strong enough as the Tombow. And I just need to hold it together for a second and it will dry perfectly well. Lovely. And then the middle. I always like to do my base first because then I can fit the top around the base and then I know that when it shuts, it shuts nicely. So fold it in place. Just have a little tray. There's so many beautiful celebration items this year. go and then I'm going to put a little bit I'm going to make sure I do this right so it'll be on this bit here so always on the inside and then I'm going to 
close my box. And then you'll know that it fits around it. Just pinch it for a minute and then it will be fine. Excellent. There we go. So let's just leave that to dry a moment while we do another bit of it. So this is the bit, the other bit. Maybe it is a bit more interesting. We're going to stamp again the lots of lavender. I'm getting my gold thread everywhere. It's sticking to me. Right. <laughs> lots of lavender on here. That's it. On there. Like so. And then I'm going to take some different colour ink pads. I've got Wisteria Wonder and I've got the uh, the shading, the watercolour bit of the lavender. I'm just going to ink that one up and line it up. You can line it up pretty well. Just go for it. Yeah, so we've got the lavender and I'll just put that one away. And then I'm going to do the bow in Calypso Coral. It's just a really pretty colour. I thought it would look nice. You can do whatever you wanted. Done that. And I need the leaves and the stalks. And all of the stamps are in there for all of the leaves and the stalks. Look, I'm getting green everywhere. <laughs> I can't be trusted around an ink pad. Right, here we go. Let's line it up. This is... Oh, is it still in shot? I hope so, because I don't get my head in it. There we are. The other leaves. It's really hard when you can't look over the top of something to see what you're doing. There we go. And then just the stalks. Oops. <laughs> Let's go the right way up. Okay, stalks. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to fussy cut it out. It looks really difficult, but actually it's not. I'm going to just go around it. And I'm going to leave a bit of a white line. Not white, cream, vanilla. Because that's the colour of the cardstock behind it. So it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to do a line. I'm not going to worry too much. You can't go in and out of everything anyway because it's so just tiny little bits the trick is to have really sharp snips and not to worry too much also to let the scissors do the work so that you're you're actually moving the paper and not the scissors. Just snip up those bits. So you don't have to be too accurate. We don't want to make work for ourselves anyway. Sorry if this is a bit boring. I'm getting there though, almost at the end. Harder part. <laughs> you only have to do this once, so that's good. There 
There we are. We're done. So there's our piece of lavender. You can cut more off if you want, but I really like that as it is. So I'm going to pop that on the front of my box. And I've got a bit of this gold metallic um, twine. It's stepping up, do Love this stuff. And I'm going to put it behind, actually, first of all, what will be easiest, get the little sticky foam pads in place first. It makes it a bit easier to stick the gold thread on. So I've just got these little ones out at the moment, so use those. But you can use the bigger ones because there's plenty of space on here. Ooh, <laughs> it's alive. Right, I'll just put about four of those on. It'll give it a bit of depth and also give something for the gold twine to stick on to. There we are. Just a fun thing to make. Love making boxes. Do enough of it. Right, let's move the twine out of the way. So as you can see, what I've done is I've wound a length around my hand. I haven't got very big hands, but about four times. And I'm just going to stick it on to the back of the um, dimensionals after I've taken the sticky off. So you get this kind of effect with the pretty gold peeking out. And I'm going to pop it on quite high up on my box. Okay, and then I'm going to get my spare piece of cardstock. And I have chosen just a note stamp, and this is from a different stamp set. Um, it's actually from a card kit that's in the current catalogue at the moment. Uh, I think it's the Lots of Lovely or something like that, or Oh Happy Day. Anyway, it says just a note. You can use any sentiment you like from any of your stash. And I'm sure you can find a similar one. But I like the font on this one. Just a note, and I've done that in black. And I'm just going to cut the bottom of the cardstock off so we've got a little rectangle. And I'm going to pop it on the box. Let's move this and make a little more space. Just a note, literally just like that. Let's take the edge off, like so. Now, oops, I'm gonna pop it here. Now on this one, I put some of the Wisteria, uh, the Wisteria Wonder cardstock behind it. Just for speed, I'm not gonna do that now. And I think it looks nice, just a little bit different without. So I'll just pop these on to pop it up. Just make it slightly different from the other one. But if you're going to do uh, the cardstock behind it, I normally just leave a little tiny, little tiny half a centimetre uh, difference in size. So if you put the Wisteria Wonder behind it, it would be just sort of half a centimetre bigger. There we go. All of the measurements and how I've made the box will be on my blog. So you don't have to be writing it all down or try to remember it or anything like that. It'll all be there at inkstampshare.ink so you can just pop over and have a look and write it down. And so what I've done is I have then going to put some 4x4 cut note cards in. So simple to make. So I've got a piece of cardstock, I've cut it at 4 inches and I've scored it at 4. So I've got 4x4 four four cards and I'm literally going to um, stamp again on each one. I've stamped myself into a corner now, I've got so many things out. So, but this is very quick because I'm not going to do any fussy cutting or anything like that. And I'm leaving them in, um, blank on the inside because they're note cards so you can write what you like inside because it says just a note on the front. So I'm going to put the lavender to the side Perfect little springtime present, I think. Two, and I just want one more, and then, oops, one I've already made, I'll have four.
it's slightly bigger. The oh, I haven't cut that properly. I've cut that wrong. Okay, let's leave it for now. Let's just go with these. Otherwise, this video is going to take forever for you to watch. So you want four in your box, and there's plenty of room. You could probably even fit one or two more in than that, and the envelopes. Um, it actually measures four by four, so it gives plenty of wriggle room. So I've got my wisteria wonder, and I've got the infill watercolour sort of second stage stamp, and I'm going to do that again on there. It just makes it look so pretty. I love it. And then close this one before I end up with it everywhere. I always do that. Let's do the leaves. One. Two. You could do batches, can't you? Sometimes I think the simple projects are the best. I'm going to do the stalks in the green too. I love the watercolour look too. And then I just got to do the bow in Bermuda Bay. No. <laughs> Calypso coral. Where did that come from? It's all the alliteration names it got me mixed up. <laughs> ah, there we go. So we've got the bow, clips of coral. And then I'm just going to put the just a note on, on the front. And just line it up, make sure it's up the right way and where you'd like it to be. Just a note. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those pop through my door in a little envelope. It's lovely. Right, let's get rid of that out of the way so I don't make any more mess. My twine's alive. Right, okay, good. So, here we go. This is my first one that I made, and I did the background in um, Wisteria Wonder for the note cards. And this is the one that I've just made. Okay, and it has it in black. Which one do you prefer? I think I prefer this one, but they're both really pretty. And so you can see they fit in quite nicely. And you just need your little envelopes to go in there too. So you could fit quite a few, I think. You can see the difference if you do it in black or wisteria wonder. I think I prefer this one. What do you think? I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know the video has gone on a bit, but we have got a box as well as well as note cards um let me know what you think give me a thumbs up and subscribe that would be fantastic if you'd like to know any of the dimensions hop over to my blog in ink stamp share dot ink um you can buy any of the products i've used there too take advantage of celebration get your freebies while they're there because they are absolutely fab thank you for stopping by